In this example, we will be finding the square root of 8. In order to find the square root of 8, we will first review an important math rule. That the square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b, meaning that if you have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, you can separate them out into their own individual square roots with multiplication separating them. Now to look at the square root of 8, we first need to identify the factors, which include 4 and 2. So I chose 4 and 2 because 4 is a perfect square, and having a perfect square will help us simplify in the future. Now let's take the square root of 8 and rewrite it as the square root of 4 times 2. Using this math rule we previously established, we can then write the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And because 2 times 2 equals 4, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Therefore, the square root of 8 equals 2 root 2. Although this is simplified, we can also look at estimating the square root of 8 to the nearest whole number. In order to estimate the square root of 8, we can look at perfect squares nearby. 2 squared gives us 4, and 3 squared gives us 9. Because 8 is between 4 and 9, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 4 equals the square root of, is less than the square root of 8, which is less than the square root of 9. Because 2 squared is 4, the square root of 4 will be 2, and because 3 squared is 9, the square root of 9 will be 3. Therefore, the square root of 8 lies between 2 and 3. In order to find out which value the square root of 8 is closer to, we will find the difference between 8 and the perfect squares. So we'll do 8 minus 4, giving us 4, and 9 minus 8, giving us 1. Because 8 is closer to 9, the square root of 8 will be closer to 3. Therefore, we can estimate the square root of 8 as approximately 3.